back deep, number two in the green of Michigan State, and he comes from the end zone. Look at that special teams work. <laughs> Boy, that's what Nebraska does very well. Coming out of the end zone in practice yesterday, he looked good. Let's see if he can continue. Just outside the 10-yard line, Carter on a stretch play. And you see that sideline to sideline coverage. Hurt that if they get a little bit more exchange in the middle of the field. Patchwork offensive line for Michigan State because of injuries. Nice Carter, hop skips up to the 20, well, not quite the 20, to about the 17-yard line. Reimer down in three. Just shy of the 18-yard line, out of the shotgun again. He'll go with a quick out, and it is caught. That's the tight end, Parachek. Brennan Parachek gets it out for a first down. A healthy gain there. Yeah, you'll see some of uh, Jalen Franklin as well. Malik Carr is out, one of the injured Spartans. This nice. pass, a seam route, wide open. It's caught inside the 25. Franklin, as we mentioned, but you'd also see it tied in. They'll go 12 personnel a lot today. And they've got it inside the 20 at the 19 of Nebraska. Carter making some quick adjustments. That he is a guy that's the focus, really, of Tony White's defense, the defensive coordinator for Nebraska. Yeah, those whole shots are going to test Tony's uh, back end coverage, though. We'll see if he adjusts. Second and nine, slant. Pass was thrown a little behind Jerron Glover. Nash Hutmecker, outstanding zero technique. Harold Joyner's coming to the game for the first time, number 28. You'll see a lot of him. He's the transfer from Auburn out of Birmingham, Alabama. Third and nine. Oh, that pass was him. almost picked off. It was intended for Foster. Great defensive work by Tommy Hill. I would not test him too often. Jonathan Kim drilled a 58-yarder at Iowa. Also made a 52-yarder at Richmond. They've got a good kicking game. This will be a 35-yard try as the Nebraska defense stiffens inside the red zone. Just snuck it in. I told you, Smarty came to play. They've got some talent, like we said, in the open. Yeah, no doubt about it. Joshua Fleets, that deep former Baylor player with Matt Rule. You'll see some of him in the backfield. Good pass catcher coming out. Quarterbacks in the nation. Son of a coach. And there is Fleeks. We touched on him. We saw him have a great game for Matt Rule while at Baylor against Oklahoma State a few years ago. And color flash and try to get to the edge, but positive yard is going to be north and south. A little bubble screen. And bingo. Great play. That pass was caught by Bullock. Scott Hazelton, the defensive coordinator, feels about this young, gifted group. The recruiting over the last five, six years, Tim, has really skewed toward the defense, and you're starting to see it show up right now. If they could just get communicated properly and lined up. Well, Harlan Barnett, of course, outstanding secondary coach that's now moved into the interim position. Defensive-minded guy, and that pass is incomplete. It was intended for Jaden Doss, 85, the freshman Learns to catch on the, uh, hang on to the football a little bit more and more accuracy in the game. That's Bushini with the punt. Back deep, Tyrell Henry. A fair catch made. Aaron Mangum will be in the backfield this time. As uh, Keaton Hauser calls the signals out of the gun. And right away, Mangum takes it off the right side. Nothing doing against that converging defense. That's uh, Nick Heinrich. Covering the tight end. He better have him cover the tight end next time they get to that hole shot but they're very athletic and gifted. Oh, that's a planned quarterback run. Hauser takes it out beyond the 30 to the 33-yard line. Heinrich again making the stop. He looks on. Caden Hauser is a thrower, guys. That's what he does. Third and five. That time, the air melts it. Looked like maybe he was expecting one move that wasn't there from Foster, and it falls incomplete. Western Hills in Cincinnati, where he's from. He, he and his wife went to work, and putting together a care center for people. And in order to bankroll it, they had to use their own money because the loan was not coming. That shouldn't be a surprise. He's used to delivering and hearing a lot of messages growing up. No doubt about that. Out of the shotgun, Harburg with a little play fake, and he dumps it out. Well done to the tight end, Fedoni. And Thomas Fedoni had been uh, a little banged up. One of first. And if he can get guys out there that can snatch that ball, that's going to help his game. Dotting the eye, Emmett Johnson. He goes. If he can hang on to the football, everything's going to be good with him. 
out to the 31 yard line before Jaden Mangum made the tackle and, and the defense will match it. I remember those old days with Tom Osborne. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see it, man. They remember it too in Nebraska, by the way. Anthony Grant, he had all kinds of fumble issues early, but he's rebounding and has shown. Again, out of the eye. When you're having problems with injuries and you're trying to shorten the game, Spencer, just line up in the eye formation and play, right? That's right. Bootleg action here for Harburg. And a uh, little comeback route falls incomplete. Malachi Coleman was the intended receiver. Barrow, it's an outstanding talent. Now trying to help some of these young guys. A reverse with Lloyd. And the wide receiver tries to cut it back up. Manages to get into Michigan State territory. Trips, teacup, if you want to call it a bunch, up top. Third down and four. Right up the gut. Johnson, he's short by a couple of yards. And see, that's what I meant, Tim. Most teams would probably, with four downs to go, be passing that ball in that situation, right? You're probably going to have to play four downs mm -hmm. against these guys mm -hmm. because they run so much option in their offense. Here we go wow. on fourth down. Harburg will it. call himself, and he should have the first down, <laughs> penetrating the 42. Aaron Brule with the stop. percent on fourth down conversions and that's a good analytics call on the part mm -hmm. of Marcus Satterfield the offensive coordinator for the Huskers Arbor in some trouble and down back at the 49 yard line Maverick Hansen wrapped him up number 97 a loss of five so this looks like a little bit of the old match to the spin option right with Turner Gill back in his day redshirt senior from Farmington Hills Michigan second and 15 they got to communicate on this. They're, they're confused on the back end. Arberg under pressure. Let's it fly underneath. And Lloyd is wrapped up immediately. Outstanding. And a loss of four. So third and 19 behind the chains. Uh-oh. Heinrich looking long. There's a bust. And he overthrows his wow. man. It's picked off. Jaden Mangum comes away with the pick. Bullock was the intended receiver. He... They could have had a touchdown, no doubt about that. Nathan Carter is in the backfield, and he'll carry it. Ooh, he, doesn't, he doesn't need much room. No, he doesn't, Tim. He's, he's like water, man. If it's a crevice there, he's going to find a fit through there. He's outstanding the way he sees instinctively where the void is. Just give him a few inches. It's one of the three key elements to their victory today. Nice pressure. Backside pressure, and down goes Levitt. And he'll be back at the six yard line. That's a loss of five. And it's Makai Bear. Third down and eight. Carter remains the setback. They go trips to the bottom of his screen. Levitt lets this one fly long for Gates. Incomplete. Antonio Gates, the intended receiver. Outstanding coverage from Malcolm Hartzog, the free safety, the sophomore out of Silver Creek, Mississippi. Now, Timmy. Sparty's previous possession was like 58 seconds, and this one is going to be not literally as short, but the bottom line is this. They're not converting. They're going to need a spark at some point in time, so I wouldn't be surprised if Jay Johnson kind of gives the nod to number four. We'll are, see. Are you surprised that they turned to Levitt with the ball back at the five-yard line? Um, not, not necessarily, because okay. he's okay. a dual threat. He's a legitimate dual threat. The guy can do a lot. Now, occasionally a ball will come out of his hand like it's a mallow duck, but you know, it's that's real. Billy Kemp is going to call a fair catch at the 41 yard line. He's banged up. That's all he can do, but he's uh, got sure hands. With a, a surging Arizona team that just took down Oregon State against the Bruins, who are really playing well. Fleeks with that carry taken out at the boundary at about the 44 yard line. They've got to now. Since they're in the Big 12 from the American, they got to get some depth in their recruiting. Mm -hmm. Got to give those guys a couple of years, I think, to get to a power five type of depth to compete. As Emmett Johnson here is stopped by Angelo Gross, number 15, the young man that slipped down earlier in that coverage on what could have been a touchdown for Nebraska. That was a gain of three, third down and four. Well, I love the way Marcus Satterfield, the offensive coordinator, used <laughs> out of the shotgun for Harbor. Nice. Right in the scene, right to 24, as you described. Fadoni, the second, 
makes a top-rated play there, and Mangum runs him down, and the Huskers are in business after a gain of 27. In the middle, right? Right over. Quickly, and you'll see that from Nebraska uh, from the quarterback. Heinrich is the, uh, Heinrich is the first in-state quarterback to sign with Nebraska since 2001. As you see the handoff here to Grant, he runs right into Cal Halliday, leading tackler for this team at Michigan State. Emmett Johnson in the backfield out of the shotgun for Harbor. Johnson, nice move there. The foot in the ground, and Ooh, a quick doctor. cut to the left, and he got hammered at the sideline. But he was not giving Gross. himself up. Gross came in <laughs> and shocked him. Went back Don home. Brown. Went back home. Johnson remains the setback. Nothing doing this to him. Good work by that interior. Zion Young along with Jordan Hall. It's more of an even front. Four guys across dispersed equally on that front. 12 personnel again. Quick pitch reverse to Fleets. Nice Joshua Fleets. Oh, a little tight rope toe tap. Inside the five, he may have the first down at the four. And Jordan Hall thought he had him dead to rights oh. right there. First down and goal from the four. Oh, great defense. Big time. Johnson met at the point of attack by Harmon. And in goal. Again, it's Johnson. In the backfield. Play fake to him and a waltz in for a touchdown. Mm. Harburg. Nebraska takes the lead. His fifth rushing touchdown this season. Option game hard to defend down here. You got to make it in to soften up that edge so Harbert can walk straight through that. Well, he leads Nebraska with rushing touchdowns at five. And here's Albano for the extra point. Highly intelligent player, Harburg, and they're counting on him, his athleticism, and a, a growing confidence that he is worthy. on a golf course there's there are, there are clouds all around you on an elevated tee beautiful looks like it may be Hauser this time we did see a bit of long term they know the noise in the system right now can be problematic when the transfer portal era he wants to take care of these young men. Carter out of the backfield look out this is a guy that can go the distance and get to the second level in a heartbeat as he takes that little swing pass out for a gain of nine. Complimentary throw game working. They got it with the whole shot early on. But not much sense. There he goes again. And again, you see that he forces the linebackers to make plays. And if he can juke one other guy, Lee White said to us last night, got to tackle. You better tackle number five because he is a load. And they're getting a steady diet of him now. And that time, after a couple of gains of nine, he gets out for three. That's Isaac Gifford, number two. When they were out in the desert, Oklahoma calls him Cheetah. You know, it just <laughs> depends on wherever you are, man. Second and seven. I haven't seen many Cheetahs in Oklahoma. No. Alante Brown has come in. And look oh, at this. A little chicanery. There it is. Foster. He has it inside the 15. Michael Barshop was out there, yep. DA, and he saw it. He said, hey, man, a little trick play going on. Well, not only that, but he got the pass off under pressure from Makai Bear. I mean, he had to unload it, and he got it off just in time. First and 10 with the ball outside the 10. That was a 42-yard gain. This is another thing that Tony White was concerned with. Mm -hmm. They're going to absolutely empty the bucket offensively, Michigan State, today. We've got a Delay penalty game. here. Offense, number 12. Five-yard penalty remains first down. Sadly, these are the things that happen to teams that Alante transferred, mm -hmm. or wide receiver, I should say, playing a running back position on that particular play. As you see Hauser usher himself out this time, trying to get it done on his own. But the, the man in his uniform, he looks like a great thrower, but he's showing me something a little bit different right now, Tim. This is impressive. Looking over nice. the middle, it's caught, it's touchdown, it's Fitzpatrick. Timmy got open really quickly. 
Credit Jay Johnson for reaching into his bag of tricks. Wide receiver. Get out of there. Yeah, indeed. Well, we have a touchback in the backfield, flanking the quarterback, Henry Carver. Play fake. Looking for the tight end on a crossing route. He's going to go with his wide receiver, and it's caught by Alex Bullock. The sophomore from Omaha, Nebraska, with the stop. With well, he just wasn't sure that he had that over route, and it's his responsibility. It's man cover. First and ten, Harburg. Nice pass. Oh, drop. Looked like it. A back shoulder throw for Glott Wright. He'll come in and block. And oh, no, what a great Grant. defensive what play. A magnificent play by Mangum again. When you talk about reading and reacting, I'm telling you, he looked like Jalen Petrie, man. Down 11. Seam route, tipped in the air and almost picked off. It falls incomplete. Spencer tipped Safety it. Safety had no responsibility but to potentially pick off that ball. Lucini's putt. 30 for our lead producer for Fox will be on hand. His son, by the way, is a manager for Tommy Zoe. Got a chance to see both of them yesterday. In between our sessions with both uh, Michigan State and <laughs> <laughs> nice work by Hauser, flagged down behind him though, thrown in an area where you'd normally see a hold. We'll see. Back judge got it. It's a gain of eight, but hold everything. We'll check the flag. Our referee today is Jerry McGinn. Tom Kissinger, our replay coordinator. Holding. Offense, number 58, 10-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Repeat, second down. Spencer Brown, who had to move from right tackle to left. For the most part. But now, all of a sudden, these mistakes. The last drive, they had a uh, procedure penalty, too. So it's, it's tough. Second and 19. Carter cuts it back up, but nothing doing against this uh, black shirt defense. Nope. Was the ball out? Nope. They it, just uh, nope. it late. Came out against the... Uh, Chains here, third and 18, and Harold Joyner, the freshman's in the backfield. Nice. Over the middle, that pass is caught. It's Foster again. He is close to, but not quite at, the line to make. And they're picking on Tommy Hill, number 31. I mean, look, Tommy's a good cover guy, man. Very athletic, as we pointed out and noted. Again, Billy Kemp, as we mentioned, is banged up, and uh, they literally want him back there to simply make a... A fair catch. We'll have good field position. At least Ooh. should. There's another penalty. Yeah, too. and a high snap from center. Kemp is one of their veteran receivers, but he's only going to be used on special teams today. False start. Mm. Offense, number 83. Five-yard penalty remains fourth down. Keep getting pushed back because of these penalties. My grandmother could make positive yards against this return, and that's, <laughs> that's how much real estate they're going to have to work with, man. Another long boot and another marker down and a fair catch made. This one will be running into the kicker. Could be a roughing penalty against Nebraska. Eckley with another marvelous boot with all that pressure. And he was clearly run into. Running into the kicker. Defense, number 26. Penalties decline. First down. First down story almost well it is as close as the game itself Michigan State by three here's Harburg calling his own number it's about a yard and that's it second down and nine Tom Rathman Mike Rozier well, I love it when you do an impression of Mike <laughs> Rozier as a teammate in the locker room in Houston with you what's that Tim <laughs> Uh, out. Huskers take a timeout. <laughs> Second down and nine for Nebraska from the 21. Fleeks in the backfield. Again, play fake, bootleg action, and the ball deflected. He did a great job with that, man. Undersized guys get in there. Third down and nine. Johnson in the backfield. They're two out of six on third downs. That curl is caught. It's the tight end, Fedoni. Only one catch against Purdue a week ago. Halliday again with the stop. First down 10 from the 32. 30 and counting here in the opening halves. Johnson 
Burrow's ahead for a couple. It'll be second down and eight. Mainly in the 300 mile radius. Yep. There's that play fake again, and well done defensively by Chris Bogle this time in the position that Brandon Wright was in earlier on this series. Yeah. Barrow, I think, was concerned that they were going to throw the flag, and they didn't. Well, he let it go so quickly that yeah. he didn't see that jarring reaction from the neck of the quarterback. Third and 11, blitz up no the gut. Trouble. Harburg, wow, look at him get, get away. Heinrich Harburg, he makes a huge play for a first down. I mean, he got away. <laughs> Michigan State, 15-yard penalty. Wow. First down. Boy, somebody must have said the magic words. Sideline interference. That's somebody, and Harlan is now finding out what was said, and he's, I'm, I'm sure, trying to control maybe some guys on his staff. That's exactly what's happening. He's very upset. One of his assistant coaches said a couple of things that should not have been said. That's how you get a sideline interference call. Not real. He's not real thrilled with the call, but he also wasn't thrilled with his colleagues. First and ten. Barnett and Grant takes it ahead. That's Jaden Mangum coming away with it. I'm not sure if that ball was cleanly handled, but that's something you got to watch too as the game moves on for both sides. Second and ten. Well, these penalties have really mounted up against Michigan State. Nebraska has played a clean game. This is the way Matt Rule would want it. They go empty again with five wide, and Harburg again will call his own number. He got hammered as he was giving himself up, and here comes the targeting. Yep. Jaden Mangum came in. Now, I will say this. He slid late. All right, he gave himself up late. They may pick this up. We'll see. What? But contact was made to the head area. Personal foul. Defense, number Ooh. one, unnecessary roughness, 15 yard penalty, the end of the run. First down. So now, that's not going to go over yep, well. So yep. but no targeting, foul. just no a targeting, personal though. foul. Yep. But uh, he gave himself up pretty late here, Spence. Take a look. Yeah, he's still standing up. And yep. Mm. And that's in slow motion, too. So it was a bang bang deal. And you yep. know what, Tim? I think going in the official needs to know that look, this is a running quarterback so yeah. I'm not saying they should give him more leeway defensively yeah but they should be mindful of the fact that he is active and he's a runner in a lot of ways I know the crowd is booing but in a lot of ways they're very fortunate that a targeting violation was not signal Fleeks. and there's a play fake to him and the pass incomplete and another marker goes down multiple fouls on the play holding defense number yep. 21 Ineligible receiver downfield offense number 54 penalties offset remains first down. That's first and ten. Looking in the end zone and it's intercepted. It's going to be a flag. Flag is ten. down. That is wow. Bangham with the pick. Holding defense number 21. Yep. Ten yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic. First down. Well, they catch a break with the defensive holding. Right. Got to coach that up. I know the wraparound looked really bad, Spencer, to the official. <laughs> uh, it's a little touchy, I thought. In the corner, incomplete. Yeah. Intended for Doss, 85. It's getting a little chippy out there defensively to kind of pull up and not be flagged. And this coverage. This Second is, down to 10. This is Marcus Satterfield calling the plays right here. Option towards the boundary. <laughs> Get the right. Get to the right. Straight snap underneath. There it is to Fleeks. Joshua Fleeks spun down at the six. Seven career field goals for the most in Nebraska Class A history. This will be a 24 yarder. Huskers only have five field goals this season. Mm. Make it six. And we're tied at ten. He has a wonderful feel for the people that know, he knows fits in his organization. He discerns personalities. It is a huge first step in year one. Got a big day in college football, Spencer. A lot for our guys to cover back in the studio. It's going to be a blast.
Nebraska will get it. They deferred to open the game. And they'll have it at the three. Streaking downfield. So going to the very, very exclusive ways of scoring points is something a little bit different for Sparty. So far, when you look at explosive plays, which is more than 15 yards on the ground and maybe 30 yards in the air, it's been sort of a wash, really. Mm -hmm. Michigan State's had the bigger... There he goes. Oh, doctor. Big time. Got to the second level in a heartbeat. First four minutes of the second half. We call it the middle eight. From the 39, Johnson ahead again for 10. Another first down move the chain. Stop made by Gross. Number 15. Helped uh, Rattler get things going and rebirth his career at South Carolina under Coach Beamer, as you see Harburg second down and 10. Malachi Coleman, number 15, a speedster down at the bottom of your screen. And again, the handoff is to Grant. And he negotiates to the 46-yard line. Only two yards separates these two total. 182 to Great 180. Job. Oh, my Gotta goodness. It. it was right there See, for there. Bullock. Yep, Bullock just could not hang on and the pass was exactly where it needed to be and, and it's, it's fourth down and Tim it's going to be part of but you got to get that you got to one more upset than the man himself who dropped the pass Tyrell Henry is the deep safety and he takes this punt at the 13 with a fair catch visited with him yesterday Hauser remains the quarterback they're going to throw it on first down mm. and look at this right away it's complete Tyrell Henry on the crossing pattern and he's out to the 42-yard line. At times, the numbers come into play. Hauser's pass, out route, connected with Henry. That gives you an idea of the arm the young man has. It's big yardage. That's what the key is. Alante Brown checks in. And he's going to tote it towards the boundary. Cuts it back up as the first down. Boy, he almost <laughs> broke that. He just touched out of bounds and they're in four down territory when you think mm -hmm. about it he's going to throw it and now has to throw it away good pressure coming late from John Bullock linebacker junior out of Omaha Mangum remains the setback nice. look out what a nice play fake and Hauser gets the first down by Hauser Red shirt freshman from Anaheim, California, calls his own number again, and he forges ahead for at least three to the 45-yard line. Sherman comes away with a stop. Matt Rule was a gentleman by the name of uh, Snow, Phil Snow. Mm -hmm. and Tony know, knew all about him before taking over here. Snow wanted to retire from the game. Isaac Gifford making that stop against Mangum. Type of uh, tackle. Third down and 10. Hauser with time. Out route caught. Henry. First down. Spartans on the move. 143 yards for Hauser. He'll take it himself. Not much room towards the boundary this time. He's probably going to run inside zone off of this. Accurate as usual. Yep. See, and when you do, this is an old Art Briles concept, guys. When you give those funky looks way out to the border, they're just trying to distract from you. Yeah, every call has a meaning. Yep. Third down and nine. Pressure up the gut, and here goes Carter. Yep. Carter so quick, but look at that speed. Sideline to sideline by Nebraska. Fans a little irate. Quentin Newsom the first to get there. But those Huskers arrived so quickly, they got to believe something else happened. Once he got out of bounds, but it didn't. Nick Newsom was over there. DeAndre Barnes was over there. A whole slew of black shirts found a way to get to him. And they're just populating the ball, trying to sneak in a screen there to take advantage of some of those aggressive defenders, and just didn't work. I think it did a nice job of letting up. Newsom mm -hmm. spun him around and did not throw him around. Yep. He just Absolutely. spun him around. Fans uh, don't like the quickness of that Nebraska perimeter. Well, that's how you're supposed to play the game. Here's a little gut check here, a little longer. They're going to try a 51-yarder. His longest is 58. You got, got a man got... short, though. You better yeah. get out there. Have to call a timeout. Timeout taken. Timeout. Michigan State, their first of the half. And we have Hutton, right? Yeah, indeed. Jonathan Kim from 51. 
Got a big leg. Wow. When you hit from 58, 51 is a walk in the park. And it was shortly after we left from the Central Michigan game. Anthony Grant. Nice job. Try a little spin move to get away from the oncoming Dylan Tatum, but the cornerback comes up tackle for loss mm -hmm. that his Spartans defense has come up with. Out of the shotgun, Harbor. A little tentative that time as to where he was going to go with it. Two straight TFLs. Third and 14, Harburg gets away from trouble again and just throws it away. That's an outstanding defensive sequence for Hazleton's team. Patience. Yep, got to have it when you're limited in this Nebraska offense at this stage is admittedly limited. They've been winning with quality special teams and defense. Poor punt this time off the side of the foot of Buscini. Michigan State with the best field position to open at the afternoon. And Carter totes it for a gain of at least four, maybe five. We'll give him five yards. It'll be second down and five coming up. Yeah, good old Dan, a.k.a. Get her done. Uh, blue collar fame. <laughs> that pass is caught. Another big league throw as yep. Tyrell Henry takes that one in. Again, throwing to the wide side of the field. Took just enough off of it to make it catchable. You know, when you have a guy that has trouble seating the ball and catching it, that's what a good quarterback will do. Well, fourth career reception for that young guy. First down. Mm. And trouble. Well, he's trying to pump fake, and Leonard makes the tackle. So that's a negative play that will set him back. I'll tell you what, you got to hold on to the ball only to a certain point and get rid of it. Again, it's just a... Down lineman coming up field in a wonderful job of just arm over despite the double team splits it and gets in there makes a play. Nick Samick number 59 in the center was trying to double team and block and getting yep. some help over there just couldn't. Samack has been a guy that's been hurt and replaced during the course of the year. Dallas Ventures come in. Vandermark's had to play a little center but they're happy to have Samack back and this is his senior day a red shirt senior. Second down and 18 here. Carter, maybe two. Linhart again making the stop. Freshman from Staten Island, New York. <laughs> yeah, stay engaged. Keep waiting for Harold Joyner to make a play. The uh, redshirt freshman from Lee County. Transfer from Auburn. Uh -oh, nice Look out. Uh oh, trouble again. Backside pressure one more time, and great defensive work by the Cornhuskers. A loss of seven is James Williams, number 90. A sophomore comes in to make the play. Tim wants you to watch this guy right here dropping back. 37 and 2 are two guys that are kind of given a full look, right? These guys will give the indication that they're blitz, and then they, but he drops back instead in coverage. 33. Wonderful job of understanding what's going on in front and then giving that full look. That changed the mind of the quarterback. Excellent defense. Uh, give Tony White credit for developing these down linemen. That's the fourth different defensive end we've seen make a play. Billy Kemp, the designated fair catcher. Uh, which team would make the mistake at just the wrong time? And this is one of those moments as you see Grant on a stretch play trying to, excuse me, Fleeks trying to turn it back upfield. I beg your pardon. And he's uh, stopped at the nine yard line. Well, nothing doing again with that quick reacting corner. Chance Rucker as we start the final period and Nebraska in very poor field position. This game is about finding fact patterns and exploiting them, Tim. Second and nine, Grant. Well, he did a lot of that on his own. Got past the 10 to the 11. Aaron Brule again with the tackle, the linebacker. Gain of three. So psychologically, what is Sparty thinking about? Well, we're in the fourth quarter. And so as we near it, if everything starts to fall into place like it historically can and you can't score point, at some point, the inner game starts to take over. Yep. you got to battle that. Yep. Don't think for a minute that Nebraska isn't privy to those numbers as well. It's Harburg's game. Harburg's game without question. We've seen no Jeff Sims today. Mm -hmm. Do they have the courage to throw from this spot on the field? And does Sparty lack the courage 
to break the cycle. In trouble, and down he goes. That's a coverage sack there. Brule will be credited not only with the poor field position in the last punt you had off the side of your foot. This one is better, but it's relatively short and will be taken by Tyrell Henry. Well, look out. He gets inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. So, so now you set it up with the throw game, right? Now you've got the, the out pitch in there, the guy that can spread your formation. But by doing that, you're kind of creating an opportunity to run the ball. Carter in the backfield. Double. They go double reverse. And here's a throw right to Levitt using his athleticism. Wow. They're going to rule that incomplete. Oh, it looked good, didn't it? And Levitt had it, but Foster threw it to him on the reverse, the wide receiver, and he got popped. And you just got to really be good there by the Spartans today. They converted on a couple of them. Carter. Cornhuskers respond. Third down and four. Again, got to figure this is four down territory. Unless, of course, you want to get the extra three with a, a great leg in Jonathan Kim. He's already hit a 51-yarder. Levitt on his own. First down. He's good, Tim. Yes, he is. And he's so sudden for a small quarterback. And he's you know, sitting there talking with Michael Barship yesterday when we were at practice. I said, what are you, I said, you, are you familiar with the word sinewy? And he says, oh, he's, and I said, sinewy. He said, yeah, sinewy. I said, you're absolutely right. He's got that. His makeup, his physical body is there's a Nebraska Cornhusker down on the field. Number four has the ability to get up field and weave through there like a running back. That's Hartsog uh, who mm -hmm. made the tackle. It's down on the field, the sophomore. First down, 10. Out of the shotgun, Levin. On a streak Stop. down the side. Got it's it. caught. It's touchdown. Montori Foster. <laughs> the, the, the ruin on the field stands. Wow. <laughs> Holy Toledo. <laughs> oh, my. He got his come on man answered of what constitutes a catch and particularly once you've crossed the plane. Extra point is good about three weeks ago. Joshua Fleeks is back deep and he'll let it go through for a touchback. They'll bring it out to the uh, Harlan was a great <laughs> DB super safety played for George Perlis as we mentioned from 86 to 89 and he is a Spartan through and through. This would be his first win since becoming the interim Head coach. Harburn, that pass, back shoulder and drop. That, and they've had a couple of these now. Malachi Coleman unable to reel that in. Good coverage by Dylan Tatum, but it was certainly catchable. Beaten pressure on one end, but got to complete it with the catch. Seven of 18, 61 yards and one pick for Harburg. But he's not gotten a lot of help from his receivers of late. Another game's inside, Tim. Yeah. Great dollar pressure. And he is in trouble and down. Jalen Thompson, 55, made his way in from Cass Tech. Yeah, Thompson is the one that got the tackle. But provided the help. Nebraska's four out of 12 on third downs, and they've been behind the chains on third down of late. More pressure for Harburg to deal with. Let's it fly. It's caught underneath to Ty Hahn, number 17, the sophomore from Johnson, Nebraska. But again, they'll have to give it up. So now they've got to be feeling a little bit more positive than they would have otherwise. Bushini will punt it away. Tyrell Henry back deep. Pressure coming, and that affected the punt. It's short, and it's going to get a Nebraska roll. And uh, nice work that time, really, by Henry to just back everybody off to make sure no one touched it. Just 35 yards on the boot. Again, quality field position for Michigan State to start a drive. They've had that really the entire second half. Stretch play to Alante Brown, and boy, Nebraska's there. Cannot run wide against these guys. Nick Hendrich with the stop. Well, Nick is about 6'3", 235, and here's what made that play work is as you look on, Tony White understands about edge pressure in terms of how you need to set the edge and not allow anyone around you. And when you can get those edge rushers going up, Ty Robinson on one end, MJ Sherman on the opposite end, getting upfield, and all of a sudden those linebackers can get in there and make havoc. 
Second down and 14. This is a Michigan State team without one of their outstanding backs. Berger out for the year. Getting it done with some backups today. That pass, oh, that's a loose ball. Nebraska may have it. Well, they're going to rule it incomplete. They're going to rule it incomplete. If ball was tipped, it appeared. Just players I know, man. It's 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 tough, but the, they get to the quarterback. Third and 14. Hauser is flushed. Let's it fly, and there's his favorite target, Foster, who has two. He oh, has two touchdowns, effort. and he's effort trying to keep it alive. Gets it out to the 43-yard line. But he also is tough and physical. It's a rare combination of talents that you find at that skill position. The mm -hmm. physical, mental toughness, and then the athletic natural ability. Well, those tackles for losses help as Nebraska gets the stop. But once again, they're going to be backed up after this punt from Ryan Eckley. Billy Kemp is back deep. You're severely hampered when your punt returner can't nice return. Punt. And their catch again. At the six yard line. That fan was really proud of him as they were Brock. We saw Brock's coming out party at Iowa State. Mm. Arberg's pass is caught just like that. <laughs> Malachi Coleman on first down. And Helberg ID it immediately. Yeah, took he, advantage of He was eight of 19 for 61 before that pass. Think about that. 30 yards on one play. Shallow cross. Emmett Johnson coming out of the backfield and he gets it out to the 42 yard line. I don't think these coaches don't understand where they're handcuffed Timmy. So each play is going to carry more weight. Johnson has the burrow ahead. He'll be a yard and a half shy. Dylan Thompson again. He's been there overall but 0 for 4 in the second half on third down. I think they may have given him progress for the first down to the 47 yard line. Got a score. Look out. He's going for all of it right here against that single safety look. And uh, Coleman was the intended receiver. And coming over late to disrupt that play in the secondary was Angelo Gross, number 50. Second and 10. Harburg's pass overthrown and it picked yes. off. Airmailed it for the tight end, Fudoni. And it's intercepted by Khalil Majid. Ethan Carter will be the setback, and now Michigan State can just work clock. So here we go. Hauser will keep it. Spartans have this one right where they want it, though. Up by 10 with five and change left for the sidelines. Well, that was dangerous. Foster, the intended receiver, not so sure why they would call that. Tommy Hill was in coverage. Caden Hauser throws a beautiful ball. Third touch down, underneath it. Third down and seven. He'll call his own number. And he looks to have the first down. Very close. We'll see. They're going to spot him short by about oh, a foot, maybe two. So <laughs> no reason to give him a short field. And by the way, I really respect uh, Dan Lanning as a coach, big time. But he is uh, analytics, fourth down, go for it, dude. A punt by Eckley, low trajectory and not his best. Kind of got that one on the instep, it appeared. Yeah, but if you're a Sparty, that's the reason why you go for it when it's fourth and one. Your defense has controlled them. Harburg's pass is caught, and that is Alex Bullock. Harburg again rifles it out of bounds. He was going back shoulder that time for Jalen Lloyd incomplete. But Tim, they just don't have the receivers that can get open, even against man coverage. I mean, Sparty's playing them straight up man coverage. Has you got to move them or, or detach them so that they can get in motion and get the matchup that you want. That's Fedoni, 24. Harburg is going to pull it down and go. That's why the young man can run. Nice. Boy, they just let him go. He's inside the five and down to the three. Dylan Tatum finally chases him down. Johnson. Emmett Johnson. Touchdown. So hold everything. Aldano with the extra point. All important to close to within three. And remember, 
And oh, he, go, he decides to deke him and go with a pooch kick here. Spencer, one would suspect they'll get a steady die at a number five here. No question about it. You challenge that offensive line. I know you've been dinged up. Oh, man. Oh, this is unreal. Oh, wow. Going deep. Very deep. And it's incomplete. They're in a covered, looks like a three cross concept. Now they're going to a single safety look. So they're defending the run. The numbers say stop the run. Second and ten. Here goes Carter. But nothing doing. It's Only great a job. couple of yards as uh, Hutmaker again. Third down and eight. Straight drop. Hauser with time. Caught, but underneath and nowhere near the first down. To the 31 yard line, Christian Fitzpatrick on the check down. Ethan Nation is back deep. I want to return this one. Let's see if uh, he has a chance. Nation can run. Great and a great field. job defensively. 50 yard boot to play football eligibility this early in November. Pass incomplete. It's a quick crossing, uh, crossing pattern to Coleman. Look out for the tight end, Fedoni. Yep, he's cutting down his splits, and he's trying to get open. Johnson. That's an interesting be a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, we shall see. Harburg in trouble. Ball oh, is loose. Out. It's on the ground. Michigan State's got it. Cal Halliday. And why not? And that honor in this game. Ball security has never been more important for Michigan State. Brown tries to cut it back, runs right into, among others, Hutmaker, and a timeout taken. Second and 11. Oh, nice little bootleg action here. And Hauser takes a seat. I actually like the arc of his oh, experience. Me too. He goes. He... Carter bouncing off, making sure that clock goes tick, 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 and it does. With his style of offense, he could make a big difference. Jonathan Kim will try from 44, and it's wide right. Mm. It's the way that they're constructed as an offense, Timmy. Here we go. Harburg over the middle and caught. Forward progress will get him to the 36-yard line. That's Coleman back. Second and one. Uh-oh. Overshooting his mm. intended target. Holding. Defense, number 43. 10-yard oh, yeah. penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic. First. Nailed them a couple of times this afternoon. No timeouts. you got to figure they're going to work the sideline. This oh, pass. Oh, oh, it's batted down. Simeon Barrow. It can. Boy, <laughs> minus, man. He's trying to get there. Yep. Great work by Barrow. Harburg's got to let it fly. Time winding down. Michigan State. Gets the W, the first for interim head coach Harlan Barnett.